All right, so today is July, what is today? July the 15th, 2019. We've been on camping trips and kind of enjoying summer. So we're back to finishing the derby car a little over a week away. We're now to the door and we're gonna take out the windows today. There's the door windows, these side windows. We've got a couple ideas of how we're gonna take those out. We'll see how they work. We might get down to the, the wire method, but uh, for the door, see how I've wound it about halfway down just using the old crank there these this one was power nothing this cavalier and you see you just have these bolts there's one here and there's one just inside here about here on the window which kind of stinks because if it was right there I could easily get to it it's just a 10 millimeter I'm gonna use our sock to take this off and then I think I'm gonna pull the handle off anyway, so we're gonna see if we can get to it that way. So yeah, simple process to get the door windows out. And we've got the one out there, and you'll see how I've lowered the window almost all the way down. Turns out these car manufacturers knew what they were doing. If you lower it down, they've got an opening here, and there's our second one. Just need an extension to get in there with our socket. And then the window, we're just gonna pull up and slightly at an angle, and she'll pull right out of there. So easy process to get the doors out. And just to show, same exact process on the passenger side. And you see how after I've got both out, I've wound the window all the way down. And I found it's easiest. This kind of window rain rubber just pops right out. Set it down so that way whenever you pull it up and then slightly at an angle to come out, it doesn't catch on that. And then you can unbolt here and right here the rest of the plastic piece that's kind of holding in there. So there you have it. Window's out. All right, so the doors were very simple. The rest of the glass, the rear window, the front window, and these little side windows, a little bit trickier. So first, I took the trusty flathead screwdriver and our little chisel here, and I just kind of went in the side to break this loose. You'll then see how the plastic piece, which is right here, it's now in pieces up there, I just kind of chiseled my way down to break it off so I can fully expose this part as well as this part of the window. Now. I've heard you can use an oscillator, so we are going to try using an oscillator to go down in there and shimmy this rubber off so we can just pop the window out. Now this isn't as much time as you need to put in. You can simply, a lot of people break the window, break it over in the car before you sweep it out, you know, try to keep all the pieces inside and then sweep it up. You know, some might fall in the grass or whatever, but if I did that, I think my wife might lose it, and I've already cleaned the inside. So we're gonna try to do it the little more time-consuming, uh, tedious way, but keep the windows intact. So, we shall see. All right, so I can confirm the oscillator works brilliantly to cut the rubber out. You can see I just have a little piece there hanging on before I cut it off to show you. Just kind of carefully go around the rubber. I went on the inside of the car to get this bottom rack out here. I just carefully kind of went down and chiseled my way down with the oscillator. And there you have it. The window out, completely intact, no glass shards. Just what we wanted. All right, so it is July the 16th in the morning here. Got some rain coming, wanna get, uh, try to get a couple things finished up before the rain gets here. Got all the windows out last night. Again, I took a long break working on the tank, trying to get the internal fuel pump set up. Had a little trouble with that. But then I came back. This other one came out again, like the one I showed before. Pretty simple. And this guy, again with the oscillator, really getting along the side there, came out pretty well. Had to get inside for some to get at this one here, across the back. The one back here just got the lip of the blade under, or the blade under the lip rather, and came out pretty smooth. Uh, they're intact and sitting over on the other side of the garage. Now the main windshield, a little bit trickier, it's got this kind of protective ring here, or this part of the body. I'm going to try to get this guy off and then get down under there. The oscillator though, I don't know if it's going to be much help here, so we might have to resort to grabbing a just a thin wire from Home Depot and see if we can go at it that way. So here we go, last window. A couple things we're finishing up, we're almost there.